Federal government support is here in Saginaw in the form of health care heroes. The troops are staying at a local hospital, a local hotel and helping out Covenant Health Care during the latest COVID surge and staff shortage. TV 5's Trevor Sahaki has the hospital's response and how this assistance has been going so far. 40 federal troops have started treating patients at Covenant Healthcare in Saginaw to help with Michigan's COVID surge. The additional staffing arrived last week and includes registered nurses, doctors, and respiratory therapists. Having this additional support at this time to help us with this last surge is going to be it's important. It's helped the morale of our team, our staff. Uh, it's just been a tremendous couple of weeks after we got notified. Covenant applied for the support around Thanksgiving due to staffing challenges and the surge in COVID cases. This just gives us more resources to be able to hopefully extend back to those regions that we haven't been able to take patients uh, and also give our staff um, you know, some motivation and understanding that we're looking for all areas to help support them. Covenant is one of three hospital systems in Michigan to get the help. Michigan hospitals are strained right now. In the last month, unvaccinated patients made up more than three quarters of all COVID deaths in the state. The team will be at the hospital for the next month. Our goal is to get the community better, to get the hospital in a better place, to be able to treat the local civilian, the local population here. Josephus Carlisle is the officer in charge of the team here in Saginaw. When we come into a facility, a lot of the healthcare workers are struggling. They've been fighting this COVID pandemic for a long time. And so when we arrived, some people got really emotional inside their facility because we bring relief to them. Most of the additional personnel are helping in the ICU, some with urgent care. In Saginaw, Trevor Sahaki, WNEM TV5. After two weeks, the hospital and the troops will discuss whether to extend the team's stay in Saginaw to 60 or 90 days. And that will mostly be based on hospital and regional COVID trends.